What's going on guys? In today's video, I want to talk about something a little different than my usual website tutorials. I want to talk about the top 10 website design mistakes and their solutions. These are mistakes that can make your website look unprofessional and make your visitors more likely to click on that X button, which we don't want. So before we jump in, the mindset that I want you to have is that whenever designing your website, your ultimate objective is to minimize the amount of brain power the visitor needs to use while on your website. The easier you make it for them, the more successful your website will be. Minimizing time and mental bandwidth really matter. So let's get started and I'll show you what I mean. Mistake number 10, buttons that blend. So a button, especially at the very top of your homepage, should be your most important call to action. It should lead them to read more or check out your product, and a lot of people get caught up in making their whole website match that they forget that this button should stand out apart from everything else. This is the one thing that you want them to click on the most, so it's much better for this button to be a completely opposite color that stands out. You want your visitor's eyes to be immediately drawn to this button. So if it's the same color as the rest of your website, they might just skip right over it because it doesn't look important enough. My favorite colors to use are blue, orange, or green. And you want to make them very saturated and bright. Mistake number nine, too many call to actions. While we're talking about call to actions, one or two is perfect, but three or more is just too many options and your visitor is less likely to click on any at all. If for some reason your website needs more clickable call to actions, just leave the most important one at the top and then create a bottom header below your main section with a lot more clickable buttons. That way they're still at the top of the page and people can find them easily, but your main call to action is the single centered focus. The reason you don't want a bunch of call to actions right at the top is because we want to minimize the amount of time it takes for our viewer to find exactly what they need. So giving them less options is actually a better thing. Mistake number eight, too much or too little spacing. I see lots of websites that are too crowded and makes it really difficult to focus on one piece of information, let alone the most important piece of information. Contrarily, I also see lines of text that are way too spaced out and it kind of just throws off the whole balance of the website. A very helpful rule of thumb is to group lines of text together that are supposed to go together and then create space around that group, like a heading and a subheading for instance. At first glance, this may not look that bad, but this is much better. It's faster to read and much more balanced. Mistake number seven, poor or overly complicated writing. Poor writing can take way too long to read and it'll crowd up your website with a lot of unnecessary information. The key is to simplify, simplify, simplify. You understand your content at a level 10, but you should be writing it at a level one. The copy on your website should essentially read the mind of the visitor and answer their questions before they even know they want to ask them. So try asking a few friends to check out your website and if they have any questions at the end, then you know that you have something that you need to rewrite. And speaking of writing text, mistake number six is poor tracking and leading. This is a really subtle mistake that is commonly overlooked when writing copy for your website. Tracking is the amount of space in between individual letters or words in your writing. And the tighter the tracking, the harder your text will be to read. Try adding a little bit more tracking to give your words some room to be read easier. And leading is the amount of space between lines of text. This can also be referred to as line height. And once again, adding a little bit of space between lines of text can make things much easier to read. I made many websites before I realized this one and I wish somebody had told me sooner. Mistake number five is lacking consistency. Having lots of different fonts and different font sizes is gonna make your website look unprofessional and very inconsistent. Try only using two different fonts. And try to set definite font sizes for both H1 and H2 headings. So H1 could be 36 points while H2 is 18 points. And use these numbers throughout the rest of your website. This will ensure that everything looks clean and consistent and all you gotta do is bold your text whenever you want something to stand out. Work smarter, not harder. Mistake number four is poor image choice. Now, there's nothing wrong with using a stock photography website to get your images. I'm a photographer and I still don't want to go out and do it myself. So I use pixabay.com or pexels.com. 
but some photos can be too busy and distracting to absorb text or other important information on your website. So try using images that have a bit of empty space in them. That way you can put text over top without them conflicting. Or you can just try adding a background overlay. And a background overlay can just be 50% white for black text, or you can do 50% black for white text. Then you could use pretty much any image and still read the text. Mistake number three is long paragraphs. Long paragraphs immediately look really daunting and viewers might just skip over them to go find shorter pieces of information. Just add a few breaks every two or three sentences to make it easier to absorb. This is as simple as just hitting the return key twice every two or three sentences. And it doesn't matter if somebody's reading a book or a website. People tend to read the first sentence of every paragraph to scan for the right information. So it makes the most sense to put the most important pieces of information in the first sentence of every paragraph. Mistake number two is centering your logo on the header. Placing your logo in the center of your header may feel good because you're being different than everyone else. But it does have a downside. There is a reason most people put their logos on the left side. This is because we're typically trained to click on the logo to go back to the home page. And we've been subtly trained to do this since the internet became a big thing. So as soon as you put your logo in the center, you've now taken an extra quarter second, maybe even a second or so, for the viewer to actually figure out how to get to your home page. And like I said earlier, minimizing the amount of brain power they need to use is key. So it's best to stick to conventional methods on this one. Stupid. Last but not least, mistake number one is unresponsive design. I left this for number one because having an unresponsive website is a sure fire way to lose 50% of your visitors. I'm not kidding. In all of my videos, I mentioned that 52% of all global online traffic comes from a mobile device. So making sure that your website also looks good on mobile is extremely important. There is nothing more frustrating as a website visitor to go to a website and you can't even click on the buttons or read the text. So if you want to make a beautiful and fully responsive website, click on the link that I put in the description and it'll take you to my step-by-step -step video tutorial for how to do exactly just that. How to do just that exactly. I cannot stress how important this is, so click on that link. Alright, so that's it for the top 10 website design mistakes. So if you enjoyed this video, please smash that subscribe button, because rumor has it, for every new subscriber that I get, a pug finds a cozy blanket to keep warm. And feel free to like the video if you found it helpful as well. So I will see you guys on the next video.